Hey guys, and welcome to AB Chinese. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can download any Chinese app from outside of mainland China. Now, I'm not talking about Chinese language apps, I'm talking about apps that people would use on a daily basis inside of mainland China. Whether it's like Douyin, which is Chinese TikTok, or Game for Peace, which is like Chinese PUBG Mobile. First, we'll talk about two ways you can do this on Android, and then I'll talk about one way you can do this on iOS for all of our Apple users. Finally, at the end, I'll have a reference for you guys for common phrases you'll encounter inside of apps, just in case you guys get lost and you can't read the Chinese characters very well. So all the timestamps are on the screen and also in the description down below, uh, so you can check out the parts that are most relevant to you. So let's get started with Android. Because Google is not as strict as Apple when it comes to downloading apps, it's actually a lot easier to download Chinese apps on Android. So technically, you could just go to any browser and look up the app's name followed by APK to download the application file, but I don't really recommend this because sometimes you do run into shady websites and it could end up bringing some malware into your phone. So the first safe way of downloading Chinese apps is by going to Google Play Store and we're going to look up Baidu. Baidu is a Chinese app and it's basically the equivalent of Google. It does kind of everything. It's a search and also a browser tool. Okay, so now that we have it downloaded, we're just going to open up Baidu and we're going to search for the name of the app that we're interested in. So let's just say we're interested in downloading Douyin, and you can just type in Pinyin, which is like the spelling. You don't have to type in Chinese characters necessarily. It usually will recognize it and search for it just as if it were Chinese characters. And here we are. The first one is the Guanfeng uh, download, which is the official download. And again, I'll include all these reference words at the end, but we're just going to click on the first one. And the top button says Li Ji Xia Zai, which is immediately download. We're just gonna click on that. And then hit the download button. And then here you do have to allow it to access your files, otherwise, it can't install the app. Um, but this is just asking for permissions. You click the one on the right, that's continue. So while technically this is like downloading from a browser, it's different because Baidu actually keeps a collection of like the official apps. So when you download from them, you're not downloading from a shady website and you won't be getting any malware. All right, so if you do get this prompt, that's completely normal. That's because most Android phones are set up so that you can only download apps from Google Play Store and nowhere else. You just have to go to settings and allow from this source and then install it. And behold, Chinese TikTok, just as addicting, slightly less brain rotting. So the second way of doing it on Android is to just directly download an app store. Now, unlike the US where Google and Apple basically have a monopoly on that, in China, there's actually a lot of alternatives that you could go to. There's internet companies that have app stores, there's cell phone, or, uh, cell phone manufacturers that have app stores. What I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna recommend to you guys the one I use, which is Tencent App Store. You cannot get this on Google Play, so you do have to go back to Baidu to download it. And we're just going to look up Tencent App Store um, in English. You could also look it up in Chinese. It's called Yingyongbao. Okay, so it's actually the second result on here. The, the na Chinese name is Yingyongbao. I'm not sure why it's showing up as a list, but it's the first result. It's the one that kind of looks like a Chrome symbol. Uh, we're just going to download that. And then we open it back up, agree to the terms. You can deny. This one you have to allow if you want to download anything. Every time you open it up, they always want you to download a whole bunch of apps. Just click the X button to exit out of there. All right, and then here we are. This is the Tencent App Store. Works just like Google Play. You know, you can search for the apps that you want to uh, you want to get. So we can look up for IT or something. And then again, you can just press download to download it. Okay, again, you'll have to allow from this source, and then it'll go. Uh, just in case you guys get lost and want to browse on here, let me just go through the bottom menu items real quick. On the bottom left, that says 首页, that's just main page. Uh, to the right of that, you have 游戏, which is games, so you have all your mobile games on here. I think the middle one is just like a featured app, because every time I open it, it's like different. Like right now, it's showing 和平精英, which is uh, Chinese PUBG. And then to the right of that, whoops, I pressed my button. To the right of that is, is just apps, it's just a list of apps. Um, and then to the right of that is uh, like settings. Okay, so that's a brief overview. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this. Um, so let's just go to iOS now. 
All right, I don't have an iPhone, but I do have an iPad, so that's what I'm gonna show you guys on. On iOS, you just have to go to the App Store, and then on the top right, you can click on your profile picture, um, then click on your profile again, and then in your account settings, you wanna go to country slash region, change country or region, and then change it to China, China mainland. Agree to the terms, and then it'll ask for like a payment method. You can just change it to none. And then for billing, you they will ask you for billing because if you click next, you, okay, it'll say you must complete the entire form. Uh, you can just put in you can just put in whatever for all of these. It doesn't really matter. Honestly, just just make up something. And then click next. And then click done. And now your country region has been changed to China mainland. So you can see that now it's all in Chinese. Okay, so some of the system language is still in English, like game of the day, app of the day, but all the apps are gonna be in Chinese. So I guess in a way this is simpler because you don't have to learn a new interface. This is still the Apple App Store. You can just look up. Uh, maybe you wanna have Billy Billy on your phone or your iPad and you can search it up and there it is. You can just tap get. You're all familiar with this. You know, If you've been using iOS, you're familiar with this. So this shouldn't be an issue then. But of course, this also means that if you want to go back to downloading American apps, you have to reverse the process. You have to go back into your account settings, and then you have to change your you have to change your country or region back to the U.S. or wherever you're living. One other thing I forgot to mention is that when you change your region and you go to your settings, you'll see that they'll ask for you to agree to the terms and conditions for their iCloud, whatever, and they'll also ask for a Chinese phone number. I've gotten away with just ignoring that, and I think you can too. If you just ignore it, you can still download apps. Okay, finally, as promised, here's a list of reference words in case you get lost in a Chinese app and you can't find your way out. You can go ahead, pause the video, screenshot this, and save this to your phone, and it might come in handy in the future. You might be wondering, can I just change the language to English? Probably not. Most Chinese apps are made for the Chinese mainland consumers, and they don't even have a language option. At most, they'll toggle between like Mandarin and Cantonese, but they won't give you an English option usually. Just one more thing before you go. I want to show you guys how you can find the light version of apps. Because I've actually noticed that Chinese apps tend to be very large in size. I don't know why, but they take up a lot of space. And if you have a like a low-end phone like I do, then you definitely want to get the light version of apps if you can. So all you have to do for that is you have to add three words after the app's name. So if we're looking at Douyin, you have to add Ji Su Ban, which is like the fast version. Um, and it comes up. I actually already have this installed. I'm not sure if this works for English. Okay, it actually does. So if you just type in the pinyin after the name of the app, it'll come up. It's J-I-S-U-B-A-N that you want to add after your app name. But don't leave a space between it because Chinese typing doesn't, Chinese doesn't use spaces. So if you put a space there, you'll see that it actually still comes up, but it's like the fourth, fourth one. It looks weird, but this is how you're gonna have to do it if you're just gonna spell it out in pinyin. All right, that is it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you get stuck or you have questions about anything, just leave it in the comment section down below and I will do my best to answer all of them. And until next time, peace out.